Hey, what's up folks, it's Mox Z Gaming, the F2P player spokesperson here. Dan Maki Battle Chronicle is finally officially live. If you are looking for the best characters list and reroll guide, especially for beginners, this video will help you choose the right one. Recommend watching repeatedly. If you find the content in this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe channel. Alright, let's dive right into today's topic. In today's video, the tier list only includes some characters, not all. I recommend you guys aim for the UR characters, they will make your progressions much smoother. Well, we're diving into the mysterious realm of B-tier characters. SR Makoto, Class Support, Element Purple, Front Facing AoE Attack, 31% Attack and Hits 4 times, Grants 10% Strength Increase to all units for 6 seconds, Inflicts 10.3% Endurance Reduction on enemies for 8 seconds, In additional, SR Makoto is Best Substitute Character for UR Healer. Next, let's talk about A tier, SSR Tiona, Class Tank, Element Blue, possesses shield granting abilities with skill 1 and ultimate move, ultimate move targets all units, functions as a substitute character for UR Gareth and Tioni. It's crucial to highlight that tank characters play a vital role in boss battles. Their potent shielding ability not only reduces boss attacks, but most importantly, accelerates skill cooldowns for subsequent attacks. SSR Daphne, Class Tank, Element Green, functions similarly to SSR Tiona. She possesses shield abilities with skill 1 and ultimate move, targeting all units. What sets her apart is her green element, which plays into elemental interactions and potential bonus buffs when adventurer and assist characters match elements. When choosing between Tiona and Daphne, consider assist character alignment for bonus buffs. Furthermore, SSR Daphne can also serve as a substitute for UR Gareth and Tioni. Cassandra, Class Support, Element Blue, a healer that recovers all units with a special move, Technique 1 has a Magic Stat Increase buff, and Technique 2 has a Durability debuff that also functions as a buffer. Healers play a vital role in boss battles, especially against high HP and defense boss. Coordination between DPS and healers is essential for enduring battles. And then, S tier, Makoto, Class Speed, Element Red, an attacker who applies debuffs, with a 99% decrease in movement speed on the ultimate move plus durability reduction, it's possible to maneuver safely, expected to shine in boss battles and more. Reveria, Class Support, Element Red, healer that can recover all units with Technique 2, it is easy to use, such as debuffing the enemy with movement speed debuff with Technique 1, and giving a magic stat increase buff with special technique. Ryu, Class Speed, Element Green, a skilled and agile attacker, high skill rotation rate, enhanced mobility with skill 2 and ultimate move movement speed increase, allowing for smooth progress. Lafia, Class Attack, Element Yellow, an attacker who enhances firepower with magical buffs. The ultimate move also reduces the enemy's durability, making it excel in boss battles and more. Finn, Class Attack, Element Purple, particularly straightforward and easy to handle with no notable quirks. Skill 1 is a circular area attack. Skill 2 consists of a 3-hit attack in a forward area. Ultimate move is a forward circular area attack. Aisha, Class Attack, Element Purple, can output firepower through Skill 1, Skill 2, Ultimate Move, the slightly slower attack animation is the drawback. Bet, Class Speed, Element Purple, a skilled and agile attacker, Ultimate Move is a forward area attack. Finally, let's talk about SS Tier, Gareth, Class Tank, Element Yellow, possesses Shield with Technique 1 and Special Move, Special Move targets all units, the movement to switch to attacker after shielding and attack is powerful. Bell, Element Red, Class Attack, fights by inflicting burn status, well-rounded and easy to handle with no shortcomings in attack range and more. Tioni, Class Tank, Element Purple, possesses Shield with Technique 1 and Special Move, Special Move targets all units, the movement to switch to attacker after shielding and attack is powerful. And then, let's talk about Reroll Guide. You could reroll again if you have get the character you wanna, follow my perform, launch Danmaki Battle Chronicle on your device and log in as guest. After that, complete the tutorial part. It only takes like 15 minutes to unlock the summoning system and you start with roughly 20 pulls, 5,000 magic gems from pre-register and other rewards. So, if you manage to get the character you want, you can fully enjoy the satisfaction of having an UR on your team. But hey, if you're not satisfied with your gotcha results, don't worry, you can find the setting in the top middle screen. And click on title screen, you will back main screen, delete your account and reroll again. For paid players, there are three VIP system banners where you can get desired UR characters. For F2P players, we have only one banner for adventurer and assist summons. In addition, the game lacks a pity system and UR summon rates are quite low. I'll explain why the summon rates are low in the upcoming section. For best gacha timing, my advice is not to summon right away. Based on my years of gacha experience, developers often consider player level and progress to gauge loyalty and activity. So, it's usually best to summon after completing the first core stage and new B tasks. That's when developers often intend players to summon. 
Look, I got you Artioni this way. When it comes to gacha rates, we've got a 3% drop rate for UR, a 10% rate for SSR, and a 24% rate for SR, easy to use UR characters so that you can progress even in the early stages of the game, a positive experience can directly influence whether you continue playing. However, I must remind you that the 3% UR rate includes both adventurers and assists. Assists don't directly participate in battles, they mainly buff adventurers. So, if you're aiming for SS tier adventurers, there's only a 1.5% gacha rate, which isn't very friendly for F2P players. In the early stages of the game, like Tioni, the tank class is a great choice for rerolling. Not only does Tioni possess solid AoE attack power, but her first and third skills can provide up to 24% HP shield for both herself and teammates, lasting for 25 seconds. Additionally, her second skill can reduce enemy endurance with a debuff effect. Well, the above Dan Maki Battle Chronicle best tier list and reroll guide, I've provided timestamps in the description. If you find the content in this video helpful, please give me a like. See you in the next video.